tonight I watched a movie that was actually directed by two women. Not one, but two women. Um, Ana Guevara Pose and Leticia Jorge Romero. And I believe it's Uruguayan. Um, it was shot in Uruguay. I think they're from Uruguay. I have never, as far as I can remember, ever seen a film from Uruguay before. So this is very exciting. Um, I found it on MaxGo. And it actually expires on the 28th. So if you have MaxGo, watch it this week or you won't get to watch it. Um, it's called Tanta Agua. I'm terrible at speaking Spanish. I apologize to all my Spanish-speaking friends out there. Um, I studied French. I know I'm from California. <laughs> but I studied French, um, which in English is so much water. And it's about a girl named Lucia who um, is forced to go on a vacation with her father, who is clearly divorced from her mother because he comes to pick them up, um, and her little brother Federico at a, at a result near um, Salta, I think is what it was called. And But it's raining, and so they can't go to the they can't go to the pool, and, like, he didn't, he got a room without a TV, but eventually, like, he breaks down and gets a TV for them, and, um, so there's all this tension because he's clearly, like, not around a lot, um, and he's trying to have some special time with his kids, but the one kid is too young to really care, and the other one, she's a 14-year-old girl, and, um, if we've discovered anything, it's that 14-year-old girls are the worst, and this comes from someone who was a 14-year-old girl. I really hated being a teenager. Um, and I also remember going on a trip when I was 13, so right around the same age, and expecting it to be like the most magical time of my life. And parts of it were, and parts of it, you know, I was very broody. I had a really, really, really broody moment while listening to Sugar Ray very loud in the uh, Heathrow airport when I was 13. I'll always remember that moment. Um, <laughs> so I kind of related to this movie a lot. Um, the girl, Lucia, is played by Malu Shuzo. Shuza? Shuza? Um, she's so good. Okay, so this is one of those movies that's not about dialogue. It's all about the connections between people and um, interactions and looks and the way you react to the situations that you're in. So um, there's not very much speaking in this movie. It's a lot of just interactions with her and her father, with her and her little brother, with her and her new friend Madelon, who speaks with a, a, a lisp, which means there must be parts of Uruguay that are like um, the part in Spain where they have the lisp, uh, and then the, the boy that she has a crush on, and obviously because she's 14 and on vacation, this is not going to work out for her. Um, it was, I really liked it. There was just a lot of, of beautiful moments of uh, teenage angst. But it wasn't at the point where you're like, ugh, stop being a bitch to the little girl. Like, you get you get that angst. You've been through that angst. You're like, I know how she's feeling right now. I relate to this. Um, and then there's moments of just, like, really sweetness with her little brother and, and cute bonding moments with the father. I really, really liked it. Um... This is the first feature from these two women. Uh, they did a few shorts. Uh, IMDb doesn't have anything listed as, like, in progress with them, but I'm hoping more films from them because it's, it's wonderful. Um, beautifully shot. I've, I, like I said, I've never seen, as far as I can remember, a film from Uruguay before, so it was great to uh, see some, a new country. Um, one of these days I'm going to have to, like, take a South American tour because I always wanted to go to Brazil, and then I could just, like, go everywhere. Anyways, um, travel planning. Gotta have money to do that. Sadly, I do not have money. Um, but luckily, these films sort of let me travel to other places. It's one of the things I love about movies. Um, and I specifically always try to watch movies from as many places as I can, because um, film is such an amazing... Way, way to travel and to learn about people who aren't like you and and I just I think that that is an important um privilege that I have and I fully try to uh utilize it so this was called Tanta Agua uh, it's on Mexico it expires in a week so you should go watch it it's by Ana Guevara Pose and Leticia Jorge Romero it's from 2013 and I absolutely Loved it.